How we doing guys? Welcome back to 6-2 Beer Reviews. Checking out some Boulevard today. Boulevard Brewing Company. This is Nutcracker. Absolutely love this label. Really cool. Get you in the holiday season. This is Boulevard's Winter Warmer. Clocking in at 7.8%. Uh, pretty typical ABV for a winter warmer, I think. Um, do, do, do. Yeah, 7.8%, 38 IBUs. Please enjoy by April 10th, 2024. Um, looks like it was bottled September 13th. That's seriously, like, how many times have I said reviews? Um, like, everything's been bottled on my birthday this year. It's pretty well. Um, so they, they give this beer, what, four, five, six, seven, Seven months, eight months, something like that. Um, I will be enjoying this beer before April. So we are, yeah, you know, nine thirteen. We're about two and a half months old. It's crazy how early they bottle these winter warmers. Like all these Christmas beers, they bottle them super early. Um, but yeah. Anyways, love the label art. Really cool. Um, yeah. Let's dive into it put Christmas lights up today so I was feeling something a little more festive also I think it's cool that I, I don't know if somebody can tell me please tell me but they each bottle that came in six pack they put a different name at the top um, of the bottle um, I'm just curious I don't know if these are some of the brewers I don't know I don't know so something I'm gonna have to look into but if you know please let me know down in the comments uh, yeah, let's pour it in, see what it looks like. I love that label art. This is the beer, um, so I went to Boulevard Brewing last year. Yeah, last year around September. Um, absolutely loved it. If you ever get a chance, definitely go there. Um, love the vibe, and this is just one of those beers I really wanted to try to get last year, just to try it out. Huge seasonal Christmas beer guy. Um, and I couldn't find it anywhere around me last year. So saw it this year, picked up a six pack of it. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it's got that, um, I don't know, I associate it with winter warmer, kind of like amber ale look to it. Pretty good, like finger of an off white, nearing like khaki colored head. Uh, pretty rocky, rocky head, but looks nice in the proper glassware there. Yeah, carbonation wise, um, not like crazy, but you can see the carbonation in the glass. It's kind of got this like unfiltered look to it, um, not super clear. But yeah, it's got like that amber ale slash American barley wine kind of look to it. Yeah. It's got that winter warmer look to it. I'll say that. Let's shove our nose in and see what's got. Slight spiciness, kind of like a rye spiciness to it almost. Big, huge malty vibes, um, like brown bread, but also, yeah, like kind of like rye bread to it. It's not like a huge nose, it's nothing like super huge jumping out at me, but I mean, it smells decent. Not, that, not getting like a whole bunch of like holiday spices or anything. I will say though, it did. I almost get like a little bit of like a cranberry note to it. It's kind of got that like red fruit kind of vibe. Like red, like yeah, like a berry kind of nose to it. I do think Chinook hops were added into this beer, so it does have a little bit of old school, like piney vibe too. Um, yeah, I mean, for 38 IBUs, it's a little higher for not being like an IPA or something. Um, a little higher on IBUs there. But yeah, a little piney, um, not quite like celebration piney, but you can definitely notice it. Like maybe a slightest bit of like cinnamon, um, 
kind of like winter spices, but it smells nice. Let's dive in. Cheers, guys. It's a pretty full beer. Yeah, it's got a decent amount of bitterness on the back end. Hmm. Very different. Like big malty vibes. Huge malt. Yeah, if you took if you took an amber ale, bumped up the ABV, added a little more hops to it. That's what this tastes like to me. Amber ale, yeah. Yeah, if you added old school sea hops to it. But it, it you know, like I kind of describe that and I feel like it, it kind of describes like Sierra Nevada celebration. That's not what this beer is. It tastes completely different than that. Um, it has a little bit of bitterness, but it also has this like, what is that? It's like a, like chalky bit. Might be coming from the yeast. But I do get some, like, a fruity aspect. Yeah, like cranberry. Yeah, like red dried fruit. Um, get kind of like craisins, you know? Like that kind of thing going on. Which I guess fits the... I mean, there's literally, you know, cranberries mixed in with, like, the, the mistletoe look on the label. Um, yeah. I don't know, Winter Warmer is one of those beer the beer styles that I haven't had a lot of. Um, so I'd have to like compare this to some other Winter Warmers. It's just, it's not a style I feel like I see a lot of. You know, most of the times this time of year, people are coming out with barrel-aged stouts, coffee stouts, at least around me. Um, I don't see a whole lot this style, you know. God, especially now that um, Anchor's gone, you know, their Winter Warmer's gone. Um, which sucks. So I, I did have I didn't have that beer a lot, but when I did, I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I mean it's a it's a solid beer, you know. I probably wouldn't pick up more than a six pack, but it's a nice beer to drink. Nice festive beer with those red fruit vibes. Um, you know, and then the slight spiciness, the the am I trying to say maltiness in there yeah it's a nice winter night beer so I think that's all I got guys that is Nutcracker Winter Warmer from Boulevard Brewing out of Kansas City if anybody's had it please let me know what you think I looked at Untapped it's like 3.5 average rating on it um, I think it's definitely better than that deserves like at least a 4 I think um, yeah I think that's all I got so I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.